Okay. I'm going to be reviewing a Sierra Nevada beer, which I've been really looking forward to. I've just started to see it in some of the online stores. I've uh, got this bottle from Ale Cellar, got Cola UK, and it is Sierra Nevada's Roofless Rye, which is a, a rye IPA, I think. I've seen Hopzine review it, Rob. It looks really, really interesting, so I'll see if I can give you some info on it. It says. Uh, brewed and bottled by Sierra Nevada in Chico. Um, I'm trying to find an ABV on this. I couldn't see one earlier. Um, 6%. So I'm assuming, yeah, it's a rye IPA from Sierra Nevada. 6%. Let's get it cracked open. Um, in regards to Sierra Nevada, I've tried so many of their beers now. They've all been really, really good. Um, the only one I wasn't too bothered about was their Keller Weiss. It was nice, but it wasn't the best sort of Hefeweizen I've had. Um, I really like their Tumblr brown ale. I need to review that as well. So anyway, there you go. It's a nice, dark, multi brown colour. Nice and clear. Filtered. Nice, sort of bright white head. Let's give it a nose. Oh, that smells lovely. Um, big orange notes. A really nice tartness. Um, it's a strange tartness in a way. It's um, it's almost the equivalent. <laughs> Sorry, I come up with these stupid uh, descriptions sometimes. Uh, when you was a kid and you used to get the batteries, the tiny little batteries with the prongs on, you used to stick your tongue on it, and you get that sort of almost tangy metallic taste. Imagine that transferred to a smell, um, which sounds probably, probably horrible, but I used to really like it. I mean, that's why he did it as a kid, because it gave you that little, you know, gave you a little bit of a shock. Or was it only me who ever done that? That's probably why I turned it out the way I did. <laughs> Bloody hell. But yeah, you're getting um, a nice multi grapefruits, big oranges, that sort of sweet metallic-y, dark, I don't know, it's, it's a really nice smell. Um, you're definitely getting the rye coming through. It smells really, really nice. Um, I'm just going to get all of it in there. And there you have it. Cheers, guys. Mmm, that is really nice. Mm. Oh, I love that bitterness. You get a big bit of drying note on the tongue, almost bang, straight away. And then you're getting these, uh, not very sweet, not very sweet at all. Slightly sweet, sort of orange, grapefruit, um, tiny bit of lemon, um, almost a little bit of smoke as well. But they're very faint. I mean, you're just getting a predominant lovely sort of IPA bitterness and that sort of dark rusty rye um, rye bread sort of flavour coming through which is really nice a um, bit of carbonation in it but although it has got um, quite a bit of carbonation it's really really smooth to drink mmm I love that rye flavour. I think it goes so well with the bitterness. Um, I've not had too many rye beers. Um, I've seen quite a few people review them online. And um, yeah, I can see why they sort of get quite excited about it because it is a really nice flavour. It goes so well with that dry bitterness and um, just makes it really refreshing to drink. Um, really good, really, really nice. If you like uh, actually I was going to say if you like the torpedo and stuff like that, you'd like this, but I think this one, if you're not too fond of dry bitterness, um, you might not like this one as much as the pale ale or the, or the torpedo. 
But because I, I, I do like my dry bitterness, um, this is a big winner for me. This is going to get that's going to get an eight and a half out of ten. That is a really nice beer. I love that label as well. I think it's brilliant. It reminds me of a founder's beer. The label. It's really really sort of classy looking artwork. Um, yeah, definitely worth buying. Um, and definitely one I'll be drinking again. Mm, lovely. And 6%, it's not a massive ABV, but you never taste it in these sort of beers. No sort of alcohol burn, nothing like that. Just a lovely dry bitterness. With some nice sort of fruity notes sort of bubbling underneath. Really nice. Cheers, guys. See you again soon. Oh.